All right, welcome back. You're still watching Morning Live here on SABC News. Now, last week, the Soweto Economic Transformation in Daba took reforms to transform South Africa's most famous township into an economic giant. One of the resolutions was the formation of the Soweto Bank. Adding to this, a few Chinese investors are prepared to see the vision of Soweto's prosperity. To tell us more about it, we joined in our studios here in Johannesburg by Ngosi Nati Fongwa. He is the Head of Communications and Strategy um, from Live house development as well as Vincent Dai who is the China Expert 2016 project manager. Gentlemen, good morning to you and welcome to Morning Live. Morning. Thank you. Good morning. Thank you so much for coming through. Let's start with you Butun Kosinati. Just reflect back on how things went at the, at the Indaba last week. Things went very well at the Indaba. The attendance was good. It was well balanced. We had people from various sectors of the business community in Soweto and also from the surrounding areas. Uh, we also had the attendance of the Minister of Small Business, Minister Lindy uh, Zulu, uh, MEC for Economic Development, Maile, and there were other dignitaries of which I cannot name yeah. individually due mm -hmm. to time constraint. Okay. But all in all, the attendance was good. It was a full house. And you're saying that it was well balanced. In, in what terms? In three terms, one from the gender perspective, two from the youth uh, or age group perspective, and, and thirdly also from the sectors perspective. We had people from the various sectors that are represented in the Soweto business uh, community. And one of the resolutions that were uh, taken at the conference was the establishment of Soweto Bank. Tell us about it. Uh, yes, but it, it, it is within... Um, a number of objectives that we seek to, to achieve. Uh, our objectives have got four pillars. It's a partnership, development, procurement, and employment. And the bank falls within those four objectives. Uh, when it comes to partnerships, basically we're referring to co-ownership or equity of the businesses that are in the township. Our view is that uh, if there's going to be any business that is trading in the township, we should have equity. It must be a community-based equity. Not equity in the sense that there's a 60-40 or 30-70 ownership of black and white, but equity in the sense that it is owned by the people who are based in Soweto. Uh, procurement, businesses must procure from Soweto. We have a number of services, goods, and so forth that are available in Soweto, but I've been overlooked. And then uh, when it comes to development, we have exi existing uh, structure and structures. However, they are not well development, developed. They don't meet the needs and the demands of the Soweto community. And uh, as a result, in other instances, we don't even have the resources and the, and, the, and the structures that we need in order to thrive. And lastly, obviously, is the employment. employment yeah. Yes. All right, Vincent, let me just bring you into the conversation here. Yes. Why invest in Soweto specifically? Uh, because we are actually um, looking at um, Soweto's SMEs. And uh, the project that we are running is called the China Trader Expo. Um, this is the first expo in South Africa, We I think, that we bring in um, Chinese investors and the Chinese entrepreneurs or buyers come to South Africa, to Johannesburg, to meeting with uh, Soweto SMEs and to showcase what South African has, what opportunity we have got. And the most impor important thing that uh, we try in this time is we trying to seeking opportunities to export to China instead of all the years that people see Chinese export to South Africa. Now we think it's time to change it and to looking at on, on the other way. The know. other way around, yes. yeah. But then are, are there perhaps currently business opportunities that you have earmarked as Chinese investors from Soweto? Uh, yes, from art and the culture, um, crafts, um, many services, you know, which uh, Soweto uh, people can deliver. Mm. Um, yeah, so I think there's plenty of opportunities mm. we can look mm. at. All right. Yes. Ha has the initiative been impl implemented already? Yes. Is it implemented? Yes. 
All right. So uh, just uh, coming to you, uh, Putin Kosinati, quick, quick one on this one. Uh, the people of Soweto, how do they go about getting information from what o Vincent was saying? Sorry, I didn't get How do they go about getting information so that they can become part of the initiative? Well, th there are a number of avenues that are available for, for uh, information. One, through us, lady, they're able to, to access that information. Mm. Uh, there's also a website which we will be... Um, uh, which, which will be presented to the various communities that are in Soviet. So information is available All right. and accessible. No, that's where you're going to leave this conversation, but I believe that we'll be able to chat later again here on the show. But thank you so much for your time. Thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you very much. There you have it. That's Ngosi Nati Shongwa. He is uh, the head of communication and strategy from Lighthouse Development. And we're also speaking to Vincent Dai, who is the China Expert 2016 project manager. Let's uh, catch you your weather update for listening by.